Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing three Paris Corner fragrances, including the new North Stag Expressions. Ooh, so let's jump into it. All right, we are back with another unboxing first impressions video of three new Paris Corner fragrances that I recently got from Aroma Concepts. Links will be down in the description if you decide you wanna check this one out. Also I have a coupon code, save yourself 10% off your purchase at Aroma Concept using coupon code Post Cologne. So pretty excited about this one. I got a couple new ones that I've been wanting to try out and I really wanted to try out this new Paris Corners North Stag Expressions line and I have the Oon today for us to check out. So let's quit screwing around and let's get into it. All right, so first up from Paris Corner, we're going with Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. Now you can scoop this up for $37 at Aroma Concept and don't know much about this besides that I have a suspicion that this is a coffee fragrance of some sort. So let's jump in and find out. All right, so there we have the box presentation for Eternal Coffee. Not much to this. Has some gold shimmery writing right there, name of the fragrance. Some Arabic script sitting right there, but other than that, typical cardboard box. Let's check out the bottle. All right, there we have the bottle presentation for Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. Very similar pattern to the box, has these kind of half circles going on there. And a nice cap to this, it's got kind of like a marble sort of look to it, but other than that, just kind of a tapered, smoothed edge at the top. Pretty heavy bottle, got some weight to it and kind of a matte finish to this. Cap on this is kind of a lightweight, but it's got some thickness to it. But again, kind of has that nice marble pattern if the camera will get it, so overall. Decent bottle presentation and the atomizer on this. Nice atomizer, does go pretty far. Good distribution, we'll get the job done. But what does this smell like? So right off the jump, just to smell this in the air, my suspicions were correct. This is a coffee fragrance after all. A nice coffee fragrance actually. I, I, last few coffee fragrances I've gotten had a kind of more of a roast coffee bean sort of vibe going on to this. But this really does have more like a, like a cup of coffee Lots of caramel, there's some nice coconut that's in the air right now. Kind of a milky, lactonic style of, of coffee fragrance going on right now. So it has a creaminess to it that's going on in the air with some really nice sweet notes. So, digging it so far. Let's get this on paper. Let's dive in. Yeah, so right off the rip, just smelling this off paper. Heavy dose of caramel, coconut going on, mixing with that coffee, but again, nice, smooth, creamy, milky style of of kind of sweetie cord, so it's a really smooth kind of drizzly caramel with that coconut that's going on to it. As it's opening up a little bit more, you're getting a little bit of some dry, sugary vanilla vibe starting to come from the base. Still very much a, like a creamy caramel coconut coffee flavor going on with that milky consistency, but there's a little bit of a dryness that's coming in from the base. This tonka bean, it's getting a little bit more of kind of a sugary vibe that's happening to it as well. Still has that creaminess, but it's just, Starting to balance off with some of those other notes as well right now, but very sweet, milky, coffee style of fragrance. That's pretty much what you're getting from this. Let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, we're back with the dry down of Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. Been about an hour, let this settle down, do its own thing. A really nice dry down on this. The caramel that was there has kind of dropped off into the back and it's let the coconut kind of come forward more. But you get this nice kind of musky tonka that's kind of come through, but it's maintained that creamy milkiness that's there. And it's just absolutely delicious. A really nice balance, like I said, of that coffee and those sweet notes that are coming through. The coffee has come forward a lot more in that dry down as well. And it's kind of moved. I was a little worried this was going to be a little bit too gourmandy, maybe a little bit unisex, maybe leaning feminine. But in the dry down, this is actually tilted a little on the masculine side, but kind of a gourmandy masculine fragrance. So like I said, coconut sweet notes, a muskiness, nice creamy lactonic nature to it with that coffee note coming forward and a little bit kind of like roast tonka bean to kind of add and accentuate that coffee note, giving it not quite a roast coffee note, but kind of a roasted sweetness that's mixing in with like a nice warm cup of coffee. And this is just a delicious gourmandy style of fragrance. So I, I'm enjoying this one. I'll be definitely wearing this one kind of in the fall and the winter. I think this would just be a great casual date night style of fragrance. Yeah, pretty impressive. It is pushing off the paper fairly decent. So I think the performance on this could be pretty good, but I'll have to get back to you guys. But overall for 37 bucks so far, I am impressed. That's Paris Corners Eternal Coffee. All right, so next up from Paris Corner, we're going to their Amir line and it's Amir's Forbidden Sugar. 
And I can scoop this up for between 40 and $45 at various discounters. Again, links will be down in the description. This apparently is a clone of the Frank Bosselet sugar. So let's find out, shall we? All right, so there we have the box presentation for Paris Corners Forbidden Sugar. Nice presentation on this, nice thick cardboard box. And it almost fell at the bottom when I was doing this, so I'm gonna be careful. And it is a slide off top like so, a little, a little stiff, but nice kind of slide off cover. Revealing our bottle presentation sitting there, a little bit crooked. But there we have our bottle presentation right there. Pretty straightforward, nice thick, heavy bottle, nice rounded corners there. Cap on this. Ooh, this is a nice thick heavy metal. I was expecting plastic, but this has got Got some weight to it. Nice metal on this and the atomizer on this bad boy. Also a nice atomizer, really nice atomizer. This shoots halfway across the room. Good distribution, definitely get the job done. But what does this smell like? So right off the jump, just smelling this in the air. First off, a very strong fragrance right off the rip here. It's kind of filling the room right now. Cass's Jasmine combination has the, that white floral, fruity kind of element going on to it has this nice kind of honeyed vanilla style going on to it. So it's kind of a sticky honeyed vanilla that's working its way through, mixing with that fruity white floral accord at the moment. And it has some like nice musk that's working in there. So nice and very powerful in the air right now. So let's get this on paper and see what we're dealing with. So right off the rip, just smelling this off paper, a little bit different than it was in the air, similar, but different. More of this raspberry note that's coming forward. There's again, more kind of the fruity sweetness mixing with that white floral that's coming through and that musk is still lingering there for sure. Has a little hint of some, like a, a bergamot punch at the very beginning. It's not prominent, but you get that kind of citrus pop at the very beginning, but really picking up on those fruity notes a lot more on the paper. Like I said, the raspberry, the pear, mixing with that white musk and floral, really quite nice. There is a little less of that honey note to off paper than it was in the air. I can pick up the honey a little bit more in the air than I can off paper. This is a lot more of those fruits coming through. So like I said, has that raspberry pear note that's going on to it, but it's mixing with like a nice orange blossom that's in the base. So there's more kind of a variety of florals that's happening right here. Nice level of sweetness. It's not overbearing. The, the muskiness kind of balances it off and it, it's just kind of all working together. So it's not an overly sweet, but it is kind of a sweet fruity floral style of fragrance. I am gonna say this is leaning a little bit onto the, the, the feminine side of things, but overall it, it is sitting pretty unisex right now. Yeah, really nice mix of these sweet accords. I'm really enjoying the, the balance between the, the fruity aspects of this with those florals. The orange blossom is coming through really nice and that white musk is just kind of tying it all together. I think that's what's working with this the best is, is the white musk is kind of tying those fruity notes, raspberry, pear, little hints of some vanilla that's in there, mixing with that, that, that cassis jasmine and that orange blossom. Just It's a really quite enjoyable fragrance. But let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Paris Corners Forbidden Sugar. But an hour, let this settle down, do its thing. A really nice dry down on this one. It, the, the base notes in this have come forward a lot more than they were in that opening in that mid. So this, this orange blossom is coming through with this nice muskiness. The raspberry that was there has become a little bit more prominent. So it's adding kind of a nice like tart sweetness to this as well. And that violet jasmine floral element with a, that cassis is just kind of accentuating that, that fruity accord that's going there. A little bit of a peachy vibe that's going on, but you're mostly getting that, that floral element mixing with that tart raspberry and some nice musk that's in there. It's a really pleasant fragrance, really kind of a nice balance between those, those florals and those fruity accords. Even in the opening, it was very well, but in the dry down, it's even better. And I am enjoying this one. I do think this leans on the feminine side. It has that fruity floral element, so I think this is probably geared a little bit more towards the ladies. I think the gents can, could wear that if you're into that style of scent DNA. This is not something I'm going to reach for all the time necessarily, but when I'm in the mood, I, I think I might wear this occasionally because it's just it's just a beautiful scent profile on this. So I am, I am quite impressed and performance on this, I think is going to be pretty good. Like even in the opening, it was like room filling and off the paper, it's still pushing off. It was the first thing I smelled when I came back into this room too. So I think this has potential to be a beast mode fragrance, but I'll have to get back to you on this one, but for 40 to $45, if this is a beast mode performer, I think this is gonna be worth every penny. So if you're into that style of scent DNA, this might be something to check out. That's Paris Corners Forbidden Sugar. All right, last, but hopefully not least, we're going to the North Stag line and it's Paris Corners North Stag Expressions. Ooh. 
Now you picked this up from Aroma Concepts for $61 and pretty excited about this line. I've been wanting to get my hands on the Norstag Expressions line and I finally have my first one with Un. So apparently this is a really good Bulgari Tiger clone. But let's find out, shall we? All right, there we have the box presentation for Norstag Expressions. Un. Really nice box presentation. Has this sort of like astrological, almost like zodiac sort of thing happening with this design here with the North Stag emblem in the back. Really like the artistic style of that. I really like the design. And it does open up, I'm gonna be careful, like so. Kind of this like door panel. There's a lot going on to this. Kind of like a nice circular like metal disc that's sitting on there. Really, really went all out with the packaging on this. Oh, and it does flip up like so to reveal our bottle sitting on the inside here. So box presentation, that was very nice box presentation. I'm definitely impressed by that. And here we have the bottle presentation. So nice kind of circular bottle design with a bit of a base to this. Nice thick glass, has kind of a matte frosted finish to it. And again, I'm really digging the kind of the emblems that they have designed on here. North Stag emblem right on the front there. And kind of a nice cap. It's got kind of a bejeweled style of cap. So it's got some kind of beveled edges to it. Got some weight to it. I think it's mostly coming from that beveled part, but yeah, nice, nice metal cap to this. Oof. They are doing a decent job with this presentation. So let's check out this atomizer. Excellent atomizer. Heck yeah, definitely get the job done. But what does this smell like? So right off the jump, just smelling this in the air. Undeniably a Bulgari Tiger style of clone. You're getting that strong citrus, that punch of Ambroxan coming through. Has that nice balance of that, that sharp citrus with that little bit of sweetness and a little bit of woody notes that's going on to this. So really nice. Well, a Bulgari Tiger is like really a nice fragrance, especially for the summer. And it's just one of my favorite kind of scent profiles, all the different variations and clones. I just, I'm, I like them all, but this one is quite nice so far. Let's get this on paper. Let's dive in. Yeah. So right off the rip, just smelling this off paper, really nice, like juicy, citrusy, sharp style of grapefruit that's coming through. You get that nice Ambroxan push that's coming through. So it adds a bit of a sweetness and it adds just like a bit of additional sharpness to this as well. And some nice kind of airy light woods that are kind of forming the foundation of this to sit on, but just that citrus and broxin combination, a nice balance of the citrus sweet going on right now. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they did a fantastic job with this. It's a really nice balance with that grapefruit note in the Ambroxan, like a, a realistic grapefruit style of note. So it has that, that sharp, tangy citrus thing going on to it, but also that kind of citrus sweetness that you would get as well. And then they're, they're both balanced off really nice. It's not an overly sweet fragrance, not an overly citrusy fragrance. They're just married together really nice. And it just gives you that bright, uplifting, lively, energetic style of opening that you would be used to in a Bulgari Tiger style of clone but just like delicious. This is really, really well done. Oh yeah, digging this. Let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Paris Corners, North Stag Expressions Un. But an hour, let the settle down, do its thing. This didn't really change at all, to be quite honest. It's still that beautiful mix of that grapefruit and broxen with a little hints of some woody notes that's sitting on there. That's typical Bulgari tiger style of DNA, but it's really well done. Like the, like I said, even in the, the opening and the mid, I'm finding the balance between that grapefruit and that ambroxan is really, really doing quite well. It's just a perfect balance between that citrus and that sweetness that's coming through with that woody foundation. Now I know I'm, there's gonna be a million people asking me if the Rubroca Theorem and Alkayam Silver and, and all the other different Bulgari clones, which one is better? I don't know yet. We're gonna have to get that kind of side by side, do a comparison. Maybe I'll do a, like a Bulgari video of some sort, just Bulgari clone video of some sort. Comment down below if you'd like to see that and give you kind of a buyer's guide on which ones I think are good. But I do think this is an excellent, clone of that fragrance and just as a standalone fragrance in general i think this is just a fantastic summer fragrance i'm really digging this definitely enjoying this one that's paris corners north stag expressions Ooh. all right so there you have it that's a three new paris corner fragrances my unboxing first impressions but i want to hear from you guys what's another paris corner fragrance that you want to see me do a first impressions full review unboxing comment down below i love hearing from you guys i love getting your different recommendations your hidden gems different tastes and scent profiles, appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. 
I will see you all next time.